Hey everybody, it's Abstract Possibilities here. Um, bruises from IVs from the Dagum Hospital. But I got some happy mail I wanted to share. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the horror inspired challenge that went up today on the 15th of August 2017. We have a lot of fantastic artists that participated in it. I have the uh, playlist listed everywhere and I've been sharing everybody's individual art projects as well. Take a look at everybody's. It's really fun. Now on to my happy mail. It's from Dusty. She's so good to me. Thank you so much Dusty. Now the first thing she gave me is I've got another um, collab coming out in September which is for Stranger Things and I had part of my painting started and then have you ever just ran into a mental block of where else to go with it? Anyway, I was talking with Dusty about it all, and she was telling me that I should try these inks and stuff, and I didn't really know what she was talking about. She knows I'm on disability, so budget is crazy. So she went to Tuesday morning, I believe is where she got these, and she says, I'm going to send you a care package. So the first thing she that I got here was um, this one. looks like a purple. It's Tattered Angels. I have some Tattered Angels chalkboard type stuff. Oh, this purple looks like it's got some sparkles in it. It's got glimmer. And it is Shakewell. It's a water-based, acid-free... Um, it's called Purple Rain. Okay, there's the color, the names. They're watercolor. And this one's a dark purple. And this one is a red tulips. Ooh, that's going to be cool. And this one is a money bag. I wish I could find a money bag. Okay, there's that. And that's all I was expecting from her, but leave it to Dusty. She likes to send happy mail. She likes to send happy mail. Then she sent me two um, boxes. There's six pencil Crayolas, watercolor pencils. Um, looks like they're different shades. These are charcoal pencils on this side, which I've been playing around with charcoal, and, and I like to use it a lot. And... Uh, a lot of my paintings I'll outline in either chalk or uh, like a charcoal and then I will go over and seal that and then I paint around it and uh, I usually use a medium to uh, seal it so it doesn't spread or I do like it when I paint and I can blend it you know and give my my the way I do things is so non-condition, non, what is it, traditional. And here are some watercolor pencils to play with. I do that as well. And that's not all, folks. She sent me, and I'm anxious to try these. And I like the, okay, these are paintbrushes. Aren't they amazing? But look at the bottoms. They're angled. I can think of things to do with the bottoms of the brushes as well. I know, I'm a strange little duck. Anyway, nice. I'm anxious to try these and see how they do. And then, oh, I missed a brush. I'm sorry. There was another brush down here. Let me just try to dig in this box and make sure I get everything. Yes, I did that time. Okay, here's, oh, and I like these little ones for what I'm doing my hands. I'm sorry. I'm so sick right now, guys. I'm trying to do my best. As you know, I have COPD and it's uh, taken a turn. It's been hard to bounce back from this one. And, uh, it's in the hospital three times in the last eight days. I'm having um, what is it they call it? Uh, a bronchial bronchitis uh, exasperation or something. Anyway, 
my sats were 86 and that's how much your bot a blood um, is, is saturation of oxygen and it causes headaches and forgetfulness you almost think you got like Alzheimer's because you can't remember anything anyway uh so we've been having to do a lot of uh, massive treatment to get my sats back up into the 90s. It's just not been pleasant. And a lot of what they give me gives me... I have tremors anyway, as you guys know. You'll see in most of my artwork how I'm always holding my wrist. That's because I was born with tremors. Just always was, but everything can intensify it. And that abuterol really does. Anyway, she sent me these wonderful napkins because I do do napkin art. And I love the peacock. Look at that. She spared some and sent them to me. How neat. Are they pretty? Absolutely gorgeous. And then, I'm wondering if you're going to be able to see this. I'm going to have to. Okay, I'm going to lay them. Can you see that? That's those jelly type stickers. Or, you know, you put them on the acrylic plate. That's upside down. Well, see, she's upside, right side. This one's upside down. It's women's faces, and I am going to love this. See if you can see. There. Well, she's upside down in this one. Awesome! I can't wait to play. And I had a... Uh, I've got an unboxing to show you at a different time, but I didn't, and then she sent me these little beads for me to play with, but I'm so thankful um, for everything everybody's done. These little Happy Meals, they help me continue to do a lot of my art projects, and it also helps me expand on uh, what I do do and to be able to try different things. So I appreciate anyone that sends Happy Mail. And, uh, I'm going to link her channel in this because she does some fantastic tutorials and she's my mentor and um, she helps me a lot when I run into brain blocks with some of my art. Again, everybody enjoy the horror challenge that's up and live on YouTube now and the end cards. I will be linking the playlist to that as well. So everybody have a wonderful, wonderful day and I hope you enjoy your week. And I want everybody to have good health. And I uh, thank you for all the prayers I've been receiving on Facebook. They are much appreciated. And I'm doing what I can do, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.